as I just grew up and came into my identity and started to understand my, myself as a Muslim, um, I started to understand what it meant to be Muslim American and having those two identities coexist. And then when 9-11 came around and you go to school that day, I started you know, to understand that's why they're looking at me or you know, maybe uh, others are perceiving me differently now because um, I'm clearly Muslim. I felt like empowered to take that step towards wearing the hijab, not only as a, a step towards my own faith, my own iman, um, but as kind of to, I want to take that step to represent my faith um, in that specific time where Muslims were kind of uh, on, on the spot. Our goal is $35,000. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You know, uh, as a candidate, especially who is visibly Muslim um, in front of cameras, right, that I have to be cautious about kind of how I conduct myself because I know that for some people it'll be the first time that they meet a Muslim or engage with a Muslim. And I want to make sure that they know uh, that, you know, whatever stereotype or image that they had is not the reality for many of us. Form to help you, inshallah, November 2nd. Yeah. I think it is actually one of the reasons why I'm running for office, this feeling of being othered and feeling like I don't belong here um, and pushing against that rhetoric and saying that this is also my home. This is the country where I've been the longest, uh, almost 23 years now, um, and wanting to create an environment where regardless of what other people do, that we know that we belong here, that we are safe here. I don't know what you did, like, it's like sweating. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the way it was. The water wasn't the red. You know, if you've earned that title of U.S. Marine, you're all the same, right? And you're, you're willing to die for each other. So for me, it is very painful uh, uh, when I reflect on the, those years, especially the years later, uh, later now, uh, because I, I sometimes wonder now, like maybe I would have stayed in longer and, uh, in the Marine Corps. Maybe I would have retired from the Marine Corps had I, hadn't got, had I not gone through some of those experiences because they did uh, greatly impact me as a human being, as a person. I, I was a person at the end of the day. Recently, I was planning, uh, helping planning a trip for our Sunday school children to Niagara Falls. And I'm helping with the accommodation part of it. And when they said, who's coming? I, I kept, I was like, a house of worship. <laughs> you know, this is, this is like, this is so sad, right? Like, Because I was like, maybe they'll treat me different. Maybe they're like, oh, we don't want them coming here. I, I, don't, I don't know, you know? And this is, this is 20 years after 9-11 <laughs> that I'm still having to feel this way. So we haven't made much progress, right? I mean, I, I can't call that progress.
being Muslim in Brooklyn is absolutely central to how I was raised and it's inseparable from the work I do and the kind of activism that shaped my growth post 9-11. After 9-11, an immediate uh, recollection is being called a terrorist um, as a nine-year-old with my sister as we were walking to the mosque uh, across the street. And that has stayed in my body. Uh, and it's trauma that I'm holding. And so I recognize that young people who grew up or, or have a a vivid memory of 9-11 um, needs support.